Good morning, happy vlogmas. Today is day 19, so I hope you guys are having a really wonderful Christmassy vlogmas um, <laughs> time watching my videos. Um, oh, let me turn on this light because it's still fairly early. But I am doing some laundry. I'm getting ready to put on the sheets. I just got finished washing them so they should be dry and um you know i put them in the dryer anyway just did my hair my makeup and i'm wearing my flowy dress that i bought some days ago thrifting i love it so much it's so comfy and i just love it i mean it's a small but you know it is more like oversized hold on it's so dark it's just dark you guys so i have my morning coffee and I'm getting ready to, um, trying to figure out, do I want to cook like a big thing of, like, uh, the other day I put like, um, a whole package of bacon. Well, not a whole package, half a package. Hold on a second. Because you know, guys, your girl has started back to eating bacon. I can, t I can actually digest bacon because it's a pure fat, pretty much. I mean, it's got protein in it too, but not. It's, it's mostly, um, what do you call it? Easily absorbable. Hold on. Let me turn on this light. Uh, the protein, the fat ratio, the fat is, I guess, a higher because I don't get the lean bacon and it's easy to digest. And I love it. I enjoy bacon. It's so good. I uh, wish I could tolerate pork chops, but I can't because it's the protein is too much for me feels like it rips at my gut or something and yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and make up this bed I will pop back in later see you guys I am back in the kitchen and I'm getting ready to make some um, pesto you guys have never seen me make this um, I'm glad I got this recipe from Cheyenne Jordan's girlfriend and every now and then I will make this dish this is my what, third time making it and let's hope it turns out delicious anyway i got some zucchini noodles that i spiralized right here and this is two zucchini noodles we have some garlic i'm probably gonna use all of this these are we have possibly about four cloves then i got some extra virgin olive oil and i got a bunch of spinach i'm probably gonna add i want to use up the whole bag so we shall see how that goes and then just put it like in a container so i'm gonna go ahead and put this together i'm gonna add some salt himalayan salt and i'm almost thinking i want to try out this infused chili sauce mm. so i'm just peeling and uh, i've had this a while so it's still pretty good I'm starting to dry out just a little bit shell but Oh, it smells delicious. I'm gonna get some uh, fresh garlic next week when I go grocery shopping. I really enjoy gar garlic. I like to cook it and have it when I'm eating eggs. So I will take about shoot, probably six, seven, eight <laughs> garlic cloves like this, little bulbs, and I will saute them and I just eat them. And they are delicious. And they're good for you, super good for you good for like inflammation in the body like you have any kind of uh, craziness going on in the body uh, it's supposed to help with that also in the onions the onion family turmeric all that kind of stuff it's supposed to be really, really 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 good for you yes minky. and minky i don't think you could eat garlic y'all she over here, she loves the smell of it. The garlic, she loves the smell of onions too. But she cannot eat onions. Dogs can't eat onions. All right, so I'm not gonna mince this garlic or anything like that. I'm just gonna wash it off. And just throw it in here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. 
cloves of garlic. We'll just kind of toss that in there and add some more olive oil. That's how we got it. I'm just going to stick the top on and just let it do its thing. So, And I'm just going to pulse at it to get it, you know, moving around. <laughs> That's the whole bag of spinach. Wow. All right, so we're gonna add some oregano. It's this haste. Then we're gonna add some more salt. Baby, I like how you put the salt in this uh, thing. All right, that should be enough. That should be enough. And um, I think that might be enough for we'll wiping this up. The um, chili infused oil, let's see. will be tasty. Let's smell it. Can't smell it. Okay. All right. I added a little bit of the chili infused olive oil. It's supposed to be a little spicy. So mix this up. with no cheese or anything in here, no um, dairy, because I don't like, you know, the, uh, of course, well, I haven't tried it, but I don't do cheese, so, 
Uh, so anywho, you guys, I have the, um, I think what I will do is cook up my bacon because that's the only cooked thing that I try to eat lately. Well, of course I eat chicken sandwiches. I'm not saying I'm raw, but I'm trying to get more raw meals in. That's what I've been doing for the past um, week. So we shall see. And these noodles are looking great. And that's going to go on the pesto. And let me show you guys what the pesto looks like. How creamy it is. Watch out, Minky. I need a jar to put this in. Look at that. And this is your pasta sauce. Basically, it's just a sauce that's going to go on that. And it's going to be delicious. It tastes really, really good. And you can heat this up, too. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do is go ahead Put it in a container so I wish I had a jar that would be even better Sorry guys the pesto is ready so this is kind of like my salad then I'm gonna add some pesto there we go Bacon. Here is my first meal of the day. Some um, zucchini with the pesto sauce and bacon. And the bacon is my fat. That's going to keep me satiated. This is a low carb, perfect low carb meal. And let's try it out. I don't think my hubby warmed his either. And basically all you're doing is just mixing it like that. And then I'll have my bacon with it. And you just twirl it like you're, you would noodles. And there you go. Oh, wow. I made some of these noodles a little too long. I'm trying to, without making a big old mess. It's good, but the garlic is so strong. I did not need all those um, garlic cloves in here. <laughs> I think that's what the thing is. I put too many garlic cloves in here. So really, you only need probably about three or four bulbs and that's it. Even that's probably too much. But I did it with like seven or eight. <laughs> But um, it's still really, really tasty and nutritious. And you got a lot of potassium here. And also does the bacon have a lot of good potassium. That's what I'm looking for. And, you know, all the other good stuff and the fat. Mm-hmm.